Okay, so Tesla stock is finally making a decent correction today. And uh, honestly, it was about time. You know, we have been rallying relentlessly for over a month now, so how concerned should we be about this reaction? This is an alarming sign, but could this be a top signal? If yes, then how low can it go from here? I will do my best to answer these questions in this video, so welcome to the Finance Hydra channel, my name is Nathan, so let's start our analysis looking at Tesla's daily chart as usual. We see that we are dropping sharply, uh, more than 5% right now, we are trying to do a top signal over here, yes we are, however, what's the problem with this so-called top signal? The problem is that this top signal wasn't triggered yet and maybe it won't even be a top signal by the end of the day. So the day is not over yet, so there is still a lot of time for Tesla to react. However, even if it does close like this, even if we see a crystal clear top signal, there is another problem. The problem is that Tesla is in an intense bull rally over here. We have seen multiple top signals and they all got frustrated by this insane bull trend. Here, May 23, we see a top signal over here. It dropped for one day and then it kept going up. We see another top signal over here, a doji candlestick pattern just around the 217 area. This red, this, this red line over here, which was a previous top level. This top signal was also completely frustrated. We see another top signal here, a shooting star candlestick pattern, completely frustrated. Another top signal here, completely frustrated. Another top signal here, completely frustrated. So Tesla could easily frustrate any top signal over here in this area as well. Therefore, let's wait for more confirmation. So far, it is too soon to tell. We can't just look at one single candlestick and assume many things, many things, and assume it is going to crash from here. Now, okay, Nathan, so there is nothing confirmed yet. Maybe we will see top signal. I don't know. I can't predict the future. I'm not here to try to predict the future. I'm here to tell you how to react properly. If we see a top signal confirmed, then how low can Tesla go from here? Well, in theory, it could easily drop all the way down to the 21 exponential moving average over here. And this is it. The trend, the main trend, mid-term speaking, on the daily chart would remain extremely bullish. Because remember, my friends, Tesla has been doing nothing but higher highs, higher lows. Right now, it is doing a new high. However, if it does a new higher low, that's totally fine. That's totally understandable. Only if Tesla actually performs a bearish structure of lower highs, lower lows, then we're gonna see a bearish reversal. However, if it drops, if it finds a bottom around a support level, that's totally fine, that's totally expected, and that would be just another opportunity to buy or to add more shares over here because, again, Tesla is in a bull trend and when it corrects, while it is still in a bull trend, and if it, and if it performs a bullish reaction above a support level, I'm so sorry, but as far as I know, this is just a buy opportunity and this is how I have been doing for the last decade, roughly. So, in my humble opinion, any, any pullback would be just a buying opportunity. Now, a pullback wouldn't be a major surprise because, because the broad market is already correcting. We see the S&P dropping since June 16, right? Since last week, it did a top signal over here. This top signal was triggered. It did bearish structures on the one hour chart. It is correcting on the daily chart. If it corrects to the 21 MA over here, that's okay. Totally normal. I'm not gonna be surprised. This is not gonna impress me. This is not enough for the trend to reverse, period. NASDAQ index. It also did it. NASDAQ index is particularly wild over here because we did a top signal, a dark cloud cover candlestick pattern just under a very meaningful resistance level over here, this black line. We did a top signal, so right now we are 
correcting as well. We see many other stocks, uh, Apple, Microsoft, Google, they're all correcting. Tesla is still going up sharply. It is trying to do a top signal. If it corrects, okay, since the broad market is correcting, that wouldn't be a big surprise to me. However, we should be very, very careful because we don't know what kind of correction this could possibly be. If it triggers a correction, of course, I'm, I am assuming we are going to drop from here because as far as I know, it could be just like Nvidia, right? It, which exploded after earnings and then many people were saying, oh no, Nvidia right now has to correct, right? Because it simply exploded too much. The RSI is too high. It has to correct. Well, it did a correction. However, it was a time correction or also aka sideways correction over here. We just moved sideways, gathering momentum because we were looking quite weak over here, right? So we just moved sideways while Nvidia gathered momentum, gathered strength. And then right now we are just breaking the previous top level. We are resuming the bullish sentiment and it is still extremely bullish. It is still above its main support level at $419 over here. So see how problematic this is. Even, even if Tesla actually loses momentum, there is no guarantee that it's actually going to drop. Now, very quickly, if you don't follow me on Instagram, just follow me over there. Ask me anything every single week. I open a question box on my stories and I answer your questions during the week. So come on, just follow me over there. If you want me to analyze anything, if you want me to analyze other stocks, ask me over there, all right? So Instagram at the finance hydra. This is me, Nathan Black. Now, on the weekly chart, Okay, the week is not over yet. Today is Wednesday. However, if we actually see Tesla doing a top signal on the weekly chart, I believe that would be way, way more meaningful than a top signal on the daily chart because we just fill it this gap over here. We just closed a gap on the weekly chart. And by doing a top signal over here, closing below the 262, in my humble opinion, that would be much, much more problematic signal because this indicates that Tesla is going to actually trigger a pullback, actually trigger a price correction, not only a sideways correction, but a, a price correction to lower levels. And uh, if we use Fibonacci over here, it could easily, easily correct to the first retracement, the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement, or even or even to the 50% retracement, which is around the $217, this red line down here, the previous top level. So as far as I know, Tesla could easily drop all the way down to this support area over here before resuming the bullish momentum to the $300 or even possibly to our long-term target at the all-time high over here. This is a real possibility. And this is why I'm telling you guys, any pullback to this support area, to any of this, any of these support levels would be nothing but an opportunity to buy. For now, for now, let's just pay attention on how Tesla is going to close because if it triggers a top signal in this area, okay, probably we're going to see a correction for the rest of the week. If on the weekly chart, we actually trigger a top signal, then that would be, that might indicate a possible price correction, a possible pullback on the daily and weekly charts. Of course, if you want to trade with me, remember, subscribe to my newsletters, join my Telegram channel. The link is in the description of this video. And if you are not my subscriber yet, consider subscribing because I'm here every single day, keeping you guys updated on Tesla and on other stocks as well. Thank you very much for your support, my dear friends. See you guys tomorrow.